Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Friday, August 8th, around 9 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. We are experiencing a low-level geomagnetic storm, so buckle up. We've got a lot to talk about, and keep calm. It's boom time. Severe storms to bring damaging hail and winds to the plains in the Midwest, maybe even a tornado. Powerful thunderstorms that erupt over portions of the plains and Midwest into the weekend pose a significant risk to crops and property. Currently, not much happening, but we expect development over the next few days. For live severe weather map updates, go to tornadohq.com live. Currently, just one severe weather warning out of Michigan there. Ogemaw County. We can see that spot right up there in the mitten. A rapidly spreading brush fire prompts evacuations for thousands in California. The Canyon Fire in Ventura County, north of LA, is just 25% contained but still growing, according to officials. Hundreds of firefighters and first responders are working to contain a rapidly growing brush fire in the mountainous areas of Southern California that has forced thousands of evacuations. The Canyon Fire erupted in a rural, sparsely populated area of Ventura County on Thursday afternoon and quickly exploded in size, spreading east into L.A. County by 3 p.m. on Friday afternoon. The blaze was 25% contained but covered nearly 5,400 acres or 21.9 square miles, according to authorities. And that's not the only fire. We've got hundreds of fires burning across the U.S. The western slope town of Meeker is under threat as two wildfires are closing in there. So the Canyon Fire is the one just north of L.A. we're talking about. It's right here, not that big. And come over here to Colorado. Is this the one near Meeker? No. Anybody know where Meeker is? Oh, we're even in the wrong state? Ha! Yeah, so these two fires and what lay in between is the little town of Meeker right here. It doesn't look like there's been much movement since yesterday, so they must have lots of crews on here. That is good news there. This is basically where the, the edge was yesterday. And so our fire is growing, but I think there is some containment. I'll take you down to our neck of the woods. Right here near Archuleta Mesa. We love it right here on 8 Mile Mesa. And that is the Middle Mesa Fire. Now, almost 5,000 acres. And I think... 7% containment today. So we do get some containment. 15% contained now. That is good news there. And here is the full forecast. Excessive rainfall and significant flooding in the upper Midwest this weekend. Heavy to excessive rainfall is expected over the weekend across eastern Iowa, northern Missouri, northern Illinois, and southern Wisconsin. Numerous flash floods, some with significant impacts, are expected in these areas. Heaviest rainfall will occur overnight Saturday and Sunday, so be sure to have multiple ways to receive warnings, like Tornado HQ. And all you have to do over there is come over here and enable experimental speech. Greetings from TornadoHQ.com. And then turn on the audio alerts. So it's that simple. Where were we? Let's take a look at the GFS model and see where those storms are going to be popping up over the next few days over Iowa. There it is. Boom, on Saturday. And there is that line of storms Saturday. And here is Sunday. And then Monday, it doesn't get any better for Iowa. So a three-day punch. Let's see what uh, total accumulated precipitation is doing uh, and see where the flooding may occur. Okay, that's not it. That's it. Oh, yeah. So into next week, we could be seeing seven, eight inches in some places there. So that is going to be some flash flooding, potentially catastrophic flash flooding, because this is just a model. So if you're in this area, be prepared, not scared. 
Here's an earthquake map with shaking potential on the modified Mercalli intensity scale, which goes all the way up to devastating, which is on the map. So if you want to know where you are and the possibility of how much shaking can occur in California, the link will be below. Why you live in California is anyone's guess. Seismic update. Well, the U.S. is very quiet. Just one quake above 2.5 magnitude. Aftershocks continue in the Kamchatka, but overall, worldwide, low-level activity. Worldwide volcano news for the 8th, Friday, the 8th of August. Ibu, 6,000-foot boomer. We've got Semaru to 15,000 feet. Kluchiskyoi, still on the map for 40,000 feet. Volcanic ash emissions con continuing. Holy macaroni. Santa Guito, possible volcanic ash. Here it is, Krasheninikov in the Kamchatka, which was kicked off by the 8.8 .8 magnitude earthquake. Now multiple lava flows. Holy macaroni, as activity is increasing there. Nevado de Ruiz, uh, an eruption today. Liwatobi to 8,000 feet. Klucha to 40,000. Popo to 22,000, Ibu to 7,000, Ducono to 7,000 feet, Liotolo to 6,000 feet, Talika to 5,000 feet, Sangue, new emissions, Santa Guito to 14,000 feet, Liwatobi to 9, continuous light volcanic emissions at Talika, Nevado de Cruiz, possible light volcanic activity. Wow, what a list today. Santa Guito on the list, Raventador, Ducono to 8,000. Popo to 22,000, Kluchiskyoi to 40,000, wrapping up the list. And a quick visit over at Space Weather. We've had some low-level C and M flares today, all impulsive. Probably none of them producing uh, any coronal mass ejections, but there you can see the aurora belt and the probability lighting up. KP4 currently, but the BEZ is now shifting south again, so we could see that. Yep, there you go. So we're going to get back up to KP5 here in just a little bit. So make sure you get out and look up uh, for the Aurora. Just look north, G2 Geomagnetic Storm Watch. And the Great Barrier Reef is holding strong in 2025. Here is the data set. In fact, it's one of the one, two, three, four highest years on record, 2025. Top four since 1985. Good job, Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> and if you didn't know, tomorrow Lee and I will be driving down to Santa Fe to go to the Santa Fe Open Air Opera. Yep, there's no walls on those sides, folks. Should be an interesting experience. We usually don't stay up late. This baby doesn't start until 8 p.m. It's over three hours long. Wow. We'll be out late. And we will be seeing The Marriage of Figaro. Figaro, Figaro, Figaro. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Probably won't be an update tomorrow, but there may be some uh, footage I take on the way there. A lot of cool stuff to see. So make sure you tune into that. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Yeah.